Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu, aminu. Oh you who believe, believe. My Iman, your Iman, and then there is the Iman of the heroes of Islam. In the time of Umar ibn Abdul Aziz, one Muslim prisoner was humiliated in the Byzantine lands, and the news reached Umar ibn Abdul Aziz, and Umar ibn Abdul Aziz wrote a letter to the governor, and he said, before you place this letter down, free that Muslim prisoner, or by Allah, I will send an army which begins here and ends where you are. Because many of us live on the glory of our past. Somehow, you know, somebody else is going to come and rectify the situation. Somehow Umar ibn Khattab is going to come and rectify the situation. Somehow Khadija radiallahu anha is going to come and support the, the Ummah with her wealth. Somehow Abu Dhar is going to come and he's going to spend on the Ummah. Somehow Khalidun Walid is going to come and he's going to assist the oppressed. You know, how often do you hear Muslims complaining? Oh, why isn't the help of Allah descending? How often do you have to hear them whinging? But how many actions do we do? Has this Ummah paid its zakah and then Allah withheld his help? Has this Ummah prayed Salah like it should have prayed and then Allah withheld his help? Has this Ummah made the Prophet Sallallahu their role model then Allah withheld his help? Has this Ummah made people like Abu Bakr and Umar and Khadija and Fatima their role models and then Allah withheld his help? Has this Ummah had the concern of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Has it a concern? for the rest of humanity and then Allah withheld this help or do we have this warped perception that somehow Allah is obliged to help us somehow billah, as though we are Allah and Allah is our slave <laughs>